Now, the capital of Ukraine is Lviv. Just for some time, just for a little bit. And I'm not meaning uh, realistically, but emotionally and uh, by the vibe of the city. Lviv now is the center of people that are resilient and fighting, but at the same time living a life. Now I came to the um, big summit of uh, Kyiv Lions Club and uh, International Alliance gathering in Lviv to discuss different charity things that we have achieved all together helping Ukraine. But now I'm walking on Lviv streets and I see life and I see vibrant city that is showing life, showing expression of um, continuing to do things and continuing to fight for for better, continuing for um, no matter what, uh, living in life and doing things that normal people do to stay with their sanity, uh, to stay alive basically when rockets are falling on our streets, on our houses, are destroying our power plants and uh, water stations and killing the children. But still people find more reasons to, to continue living and walk with children and do things that you normally do because you're human. I remember those flower sellers in Kiev uh, in the evening and I remember those nice youth gatherings in the evenings without a war and I wanted to come back. I want life to come back to Kiev streets as well and I want to walk on Kreshatik and see scenarios like this at 11 in the evening. Mayor's office, central square in Lviv, and life goes on. Ukraine, my lovely country, the place that's so dear to me, the place that gave me life, that gave me family, that gave me education and a lot of reasons to live. And now I'm watching the terrible, terrible situation of my country. But what keeps me going that sooner or later any war finishes. Sooner or later the good stuff wins. The good and powerful stuff wins. Because good things are stronger than evil. It's hard to say that I'm enjoying it, but I am. I'm enjoying uh, walking on Lviv streets and making this video. Because out of all the terrible stuff that is happening all over Ukraine, out of all the fights that are going on, at this particular moment, as I am walking the streets, I'm here and tomorrow we will be presenting the charity campaigns that we have ran and tons of money that we have raised to support the little drop of hope that we could support. And now I am clinging to any reason for life and better life that I can put into for this big fight between Ukraine and the evil. So thank you Lviv for this wonderful time in the evening, for a touch of hope, for a touch of good time, I would say. I see foreigners, lots of expats coming to Lviv too for charity, for tourism even. And you've got to have guts and nuts coming to Ukraine these days, but those who do, you are cool people. God bless and Slava Ukraine.